it's best for star wolf as morning star here with another video and this was probably gonna be a quick one i'm gonna go over my first thoughts about obey me nightbringer which if you didn't know is a new game from ntt solmare which is a part of the obey me series which i guess is going to be like a franchise now i don't know so I know a lot of people have had mixed feelings about the game so far, simply because the data from the first Oh Baby game is not going to be transferable to Nightbringer, which is mainly because it is a separate game. I personally am not too torn up about this, even though I also have spent money on the original Oh Baby game. Like... In the beginning, I went really hard to get that Wolf Lucifer card. But I understand because Nightbringer is supposed to be a separate game from Obey Me, even though uh, the two are heavily connected. And they did say in a Reddit post that they're going to stop putting the storyline lessons in the original game and continue the main storyline in Nightbringer. I don't know how they're going to go about this. Uh, the theory is, especially how Nightbringer is right now, is that they're eventually going to go back to the main storyline event at a certain point. Because right now, in the beginning of Nightbringer, the plot of it, you're actually going back in time. I don't have much to say about this because I'm I've only gotten the first uh, chapter finished with, but I personally am not a fan of time travel, and that was actually my least favorite part about the first season of the first game, but. I can ignore that because it's not like a deal breaker for me. And it could be interesting. I have been enjoying seeing the characters when they first fell from the celestial realm after losing the great celestial war. You know, uh, seeing Satan as just a ball of rage. Uh, because when he was first born from Lucifer's wrath, he wasn't as calm as collected as he was when we first met him in the original game. So that being said, the UI looks great. I actually like the more fresh look to everything. The, the only problem I really have with it is the menu tab that lets you go to different... Uh, apps on the game uh it's on the bottom of the screen and when the game is open uh my phone has a bar there that uh when you press it you can kind of scroll the app away so i can't actually use the menu tab i don't know what all phones will be affected by this because it's something built into my specific phone and maybe the phones of some others as well so i would uh ask them to change that on the old game the menu tab was on the side and that wasn't an issue i think the art looks really good as well i don't know uh it just seems fresh from the old game as well i think they might have taken on a few new artists for the new game Possibly so their artists don't get burnt out from working on two separate games. I will say though, however, I, uh, I, I agree with a lot of other people in the fandom that the 3D models don't look good at all. Um, I don't like using the word cringe, like at all. I'm very cringe culture is dead, you know, but I don't know, I look at the 3D models and I'm like, they feel kind of cringy to me, I'm sorry. <laughs> when I first saw the model just there, I'm like, oh, this gives me secondhand embarrassment for some reason. Though I wouldn't complain if they put those on VR chat so I can run around as Lucifer. <laughs> However, a plus is that they only use the 3D models for the video 
calls Wanderer's whereabouts and fab chat I personally think they wouldn't be necessary for the video calls because they're basically just the backgrounds we're used to with the character standing in front of it and I think they could still use the 2D models that they use for the storylines. Water's whereabouts is fine. It reminds me a lot of Tomodachi Life, if you've ever played that game, where you kind of click on your Mii's rooms or what other locations they are, and you can watch them do little tasks. It, it's a little weird. I'm not huge on it because... I'm just the kind of a go, go, go person. I'm like, okay, I got things to do. I can't sit here and watch you move around. And Fab Chat, while it sounds like it's trying to be Snapchat, it reminds me more of TikTok. Uh, I think it could work. There's not too many videos on it right now of the characters just doing their own things, but I think it could be a really fun feature once they add some more stuff to it. And with the 3D models, I do wish they could express a bit more. They're very kind of static and still. And I've noticed that a lot of characters didn't get their signature outfits. Or like with Lucifer, like he's in his usual outfit, but he doesn't have his jacket. I feel like they kind of skimped out on a lot of these small details because that would be harder to animate. So, I feel like I'm hoping perhaps in the future, once they get more comfortable with 3D modeling, that they do update these, hopefully. And that is the main reason they made a new game. They said all the features they wanted to include in the original Obey Me. They were worried that updating the game to add a lot of these new features of the new one would possibly break the old game so that is understandable and also instead of the dance battles they had in the original game they have a uh, rhythm game which very mixed opinions on from the fandom <laughs> some people think it's fine and they like it other people absolutely do not like it at all i'm kind of in the middle because it's a lot more fun than and engaging than the dance battles were however it is they can be rather difficult and sometimes the songs don't really match up but i think they did say that this is a glitch that they're going to be fixing but i do understand where people are coming from that it's not really for everyone because a lot of people just don't like rhythm games, which is understandable. I'm not huge on them either, but I'm willing to go through with it. And also because I'm a multitasker, like with the old game on the dance battles, I would just watch or listen to a YouTube video while I did it. But I can't really do that with a rhythm game because I have to be more focused on it, which is also unfortunate. But I do absolutely love the chibi artworks of the rhythm game a lot more than the chibi artwork from the dance battles. I think they look so much cuter. <laughs> and I love seeing just little Lucifer running around, hitting the beats. <laughs> yeah, I think they're really cute. But yeah, I think that's it for now. Like I said, these are just my first thoughts and I wanted to get it out there, but so far I'm liking the game and I hope that it does fix some of the issues and I hope that it becomes a game that the fandom can love as much as the old one. All right, that's it for now. <laughs> uh, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.